In this tutorial, let's look at how to change opacity in Illustrator. Now I have some shapes out here I just created with the rectangle tool. In the properties panel, I see opacity immediately. So very easy to click this arrow, adjust the opacity, or enter in the percentage you want. Now the opacity is also clickable, and it's gonna pull open a transparency panel. I can actually adjust the blending mode. That's right, there's blending modes here in Illustrator as well, and I can adjust the percentage, and I would see the mask and some other options down here too. Now the transparency panel is also available in the window dropdown, down to transparency, and so I could get to it there. In the appearance panel, I can actually change the opacity of the whole object or the fill in the stroke separately. So if I go open up the appearance panel once again up the window down to appearance if you don't see it the appearance panel you'll notice there's no stroke right now but there is a fill and that a fill is 100 but then the shape opacity itself is 52 percent so i could turn this up to 100 and i could adjust the fill opacity and not the stroke opacity and if i turn this stroke on let's say this hot pink color and make it definitely visible like 10 points the stroke is full opacity but the fill is not so you can see as i overlap these two objects and maybe we change this to orange. You can see through the fill, but you cannot see through the stroke. The opacity looks like it's at 100%, but remember in the properties panel here, the opacity looks like it's at 100%, but that's because in the properties panel, we're looking at the opacity of the entire object, the shape properties. Whereas if you go into the appearance panel, you can actually see that my fill opacity is different from my stroke opacity. So any fill or stroke in your object that's in the appearance panel, you can adjust the opacity of. And that includes blending modes separately as well. So we could adjust the opacity and we could adjust the blending mode separately here, uh, or we could turn it to fully opaque and visible, but also include a blend mode on it. And now this object changes when it goes over the top of other objects. So that is how to adjust opacity here in Adobe Illustrator.